Hey everyone, so today's tutorial is going to be dedicated to one of the biggest mysteries in the CAMSYS world, how to connect your CAMSYS console to external computer that is running a magic vis. Yeah, it's a bit, um, I mean, for if you actually know how to do this, you can just stop now and go and watch something else. I mean, you can down, you can probably go and watch uh, the, the, the new season of um, Stranger Things, it just come down today apparently so if you if you're watching this in the future and if you don't know what I'm talking about uh, just just google it so uh, yes so yeah you can just pretty much just stop now and go and watch it but as you as you actually watching this now I'll tell you one more secret one more mystery uh, shortcut that will probably help you and um, this is actually this has been told to me by one of the other longtime user um, Luke yeah so Luke just uh, mentioned this so basically if you ever want to use the console with some some other console um, it's off topic yeah so if you want to use this and you want to actually put all the parameters of all your fixtures of all the attributes of all your fixtures to zero if you want to make it like quickly with a shortcut instead of you typing in the macros and anything like that there's actually three buttons you have to press imagine and these three buttons are control shift and clear yes so you may say uh, what am I talking about and I'll show it to you. So let's say we have the fixtures like by default as you know they are in the, in uh, some default values yeah so they could be in uh, so you can see they could be in something like ah, it's, yeah so let me just find some of the fixtures here. So at least you're going to see what I'm talking about. Okay, so you can see the fixtures have got pan and tilt values at 128. And if you want to just zero them down quickly with a three button press, this is the combination for you. If you hold control and you press and hold shift, now press clear, boom, everything goes to zero. This is at least, that's probably something useful for you while you're watching this tutorial but this tutorial is not for you people it is for people who actually don't know how to connect two products together and i will show it to you step by step so okay here we go um imagine this is your magic q console that is running let's say it could be 40 mq40 mq100 mq60 mq80 mq500 even though mq500 has got in built visualize it if you want to run it on external i've seen a lot of people ask the same question how do you connect it and um, um and some people say oh, it's easy and i would say it's easy but i think today i will actually show it how easy it is so you're not going to ask this question again and i hope this mystery is going to be solved so i will be like a, a little myth, myth buster today cool um yeah so um so first of all in any case what you need to do is on the on your on your desk yeah you have to go to the setup obviously plug the the ethernet cable between them you go to the setup then you go to the network and you need to make sure that in your IP address and the subnet mask you have something like that so uh, just you can, if, you, if you're not sure how to set up the IP addressing on the console just come here and you can type the same thing that I did so you can type for example for the console uh, just just locate it here or double click uh, well not double click because I'm using computer but if you click here and you just type 2.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
So if you're using anything else apart from MQ40N, so it could be it could be 60, old 70, uh, 80, 500, 100, 200, 300, doesn't matter, or PC wing or whatever. So what you need to do is you also need to make sure you go to the multi console. And in the multi console, you have two options here enable remote control and enable remote access. See, it says yes and yes. You have to make sure it is says yes on, on your system as well. If it doesn't say yes, double click and make it yes. Because if these two options do not say yes, the Magic Vis will not work. Okay, so we can leave it as it is here. And now we go back to the uh, to the other computer that where we will be running the magic vis Okay, so we are on external PC that I'm using and you need to set up your IP address again You may say I have no idea how to do it as is can you show us how to do it? Okay, so I'm using Windows 10 even though I don't like it, but uh, You just point here. I've got the network connections point like I put as um as airplane mode, uh, right click on here and says open network and internet settings. You'll have this window open, then you go to the Ethernet, then you go to the yeah, Ethernet, you press change adapter options, you'll have your options here, you'll find the one that says Ethernet, you will have one, if the network cable is connected you will have that, you right click on this, Go to the properties, go to the ETH Internet Protocol TCP IP properties, and here you have to, if it says by default, obtain IP address automatically, what you need to do is you need to click here on a use following IP address. So if it says here like that, you click here, see it's empty, and you can type here like this. So you click on the first, you type two, then you press uh, dot then you press zero you press dot zero dot and you can say one now to make the subnet mask easily press tab button tab you know the one that's above the caps lock you press it and it will come up as a 255000 or you can type it in yourself if you read that pedantic about it type in 255000 and press ok and press close and you can close this window. So now the network connection has been established and then you go here and you open separate magic vis. You click like that, it starts, it says trying to connect, boom, done. So it's synced to my MacBook Pro. So, and this is how you connect. It's that easy, as you can see. So now if I'll use, if I'll start moving some of my uh, playbacks on my uh, on my console on my external system you can see that everything is running everything is working yeah, you can see that so everything is working but of course you may have here the error that says check firewall so what you need to make sure is you have to check your firewall so again, uh, to check your firewall, you'll come here and where it says type here to search, you can type here firewall and then you can actually check allow and up through Windows firewall. You click here, it will bring you the list of the apps that you have here and you will scroll down to the one that you need the one that you need here and it could be I think it's called MQ for example here it says MQVIS, MQQT and MQHD so all of them need to say has to tick the box here it says in the private and in the public it needs to say here it needs to be ticked if not just say change settings type your admin password uh, select those two options and press OK. So after you do this you should be able to restart your uh, magic vis and it should work but just in case you can always press file go to the network settings and in the network settings you can go to the network and make sure that you have the correct 
uh, network port, port selected and then your computer system uh, or the other console which is MQA 260 or 40 or whatever is going to be saying here the name of it the IP address and the demo and the show file it's actually connected to press OK and you have it all running I hope it was simple again don't be scared it's super dead easy just follow my instructions and I hope that uh, this mystery is going to be no longer a mystery and you will be able to do it as well and yeah um, enjoy and have a lovely day bye bye